Accordingly, it was a gathering of members of the Horn of Africa region in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa, a meeting convened by the Chinese special envoy to the Horn of Africa. China is all along convinced that countries in the Horn have the political resolution to seek strength through solidarity and the political wisdom to resolve differences through dialogue and consultation. China will continue to support countries in the region to uphold the vision of common, comprehensive, cooperative, and sustainable security, protect, region, protect regional peace and security, and silence the guns in the Horn of Africa. The deputy foreign affairs ministers of Somalia and South Sudan say China can do a lot for the peace of the region. Uh, young generations are coming rich. And, and it is a job creation in development. What is you make the development, and the Chinese, they can make development and job creation in our area. When the young boys, they get their education, their work, their health insurances, all this, the, 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 the situation of one of Africa will improve. And we are the entrance of Africa. So once we get peaceful in the whole of Africa, then the other rest of Africa will get peace. This conference is a roadmap that will be used by ourselves for us to be able to identify a key project that can be a key project implementable that we can share it within our national uh, development plan. South Sudan have a vision 2040. So we will work with our colleagues in the region, we'll work with, uh, with China for us to be able to realize uh, what we have discussed today. This will improve the security in the Horn of Africa. It will help the connectivity in the Horn of Africa, it will help us for us to achieve economic development. In China's view, the people of the Horn of Africa must be masters of their own destiny. What we learned from the lessons of history is that the Horn of Africa must not become the backyard of any country. Rather, the people of this region should be the master should be the masters of their own country's destiny. In today's international relations, where democracy is an irreversible trend, we need to unequivocally uphold independence and basic norms of international relations. China is a strategic trading and development partner to Africa. Beijing's contribution to Africa's all-rounded growth is an undeniable fact. China's contribution to pacifying Africa is also a necessary and timely move. Experts call it a much-awaited gear change finally delivered for mutual benefits.